question is, the book only tells, while the book only tells a, a two-fifths of your college career, why did you choose to cut off the last three years where seemingly, I mean, I'm wondering, did anything happen in your last three years? Is that, is that where your story ended? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> obviously not. I just wonder why you chose to, to break that I mean, that unfortunately, point. unfortunately, generally in, in, uh, in, in, in art and in uh, life, plain land safely tends not to be a, a big story. Uh, and, and guy goes to class and turns in his paper on time, uh, tends not to, not, not to make, uh, you know, you, 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 you don't tend to call up all your friends and, uh, and, and give them the news when you turn in a paper on time. Uh, I do if it's a really good paper. But, uh, but it's, uh, you know, this, 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 was, this was the period where my experience was something sort of unique and different. And, when I became a more dedicated student, it was probably more, uh, you know, something that makes my parents very proud, but probably, uh, probably not of much interest to people other than that. Yes, ma'am. I I want to defend the book because I'm on a I'm a character in it, and I think it's um, all of you young people today are being really naive and kind of making a judgment, um, saying this lifestyle of inaction is. It, some, there's something wrong with it, and um, Can you speak up slow? oh, I'm, I'm saying people are making a judgment about the lifestyle that you describe with the dicks, and that's it's a negative judgment, and that's um, naive. Uh, I I think it's um, I can ascribe it to youth, but I'd like to say I hung out with the dicks. I had an experience much like Richards, and I went and got a master's in education, and grad school was like kindergarten compared to Hampshire. And I swear I got a really good education. I came out of here knowing how to learn and how to do research better than anybody I met at grad school. So, and I still, I mean, you can judge the lifestyle I lived, but it's a naive judgment. I think it's a good school, and the dicks got as much out of it as anybody else, probably more. Because you learn more when you're on the receiving end of um, a lot of hatred than uh, <laughs> when you're not, you know, sending it out. If you want to see for yourself, uh, a few of them just entered the room uh, up here. Uh, and in fact, I see, I see Dan Oxenberg. Uh, I'll show you uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the young man featured on your left here. Uh, Dan, you want to? Uh, <laughs> the college and uh, of your entire, you know, undergraduate education would be better, uh, more positive if you hadn't fallen in with a crowd <laughs> of listless ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs>